3 raised to the power 3x minus 3 raised to the power 2x is equal to 3 raised to the power x. What is the value of s? Hi, everyone. Welcome to my class. In this class, we quickly want to find the value of s from this given nice equation. 3 raised to the power 3x minus 3 raised to the power 2x is equal to 3 raised to the power x. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. Three raised to power three x minus three raised to power two x is equal to three raised to power x. Then this is three raised to power two s plus x minus three raised to power s plus x is equal to three raised to power x. Now remember this rule that a raised to the power n plus m is equal to a raised to the power n multiplied by a raised to the power m. So we have t raised to the power 2x multiplied by t raised to the power x minus t raised to the power x multiplied by t raised to the power s is equal to t raised to the power x let's bring this to this side we have t raised to the power 2x multiplied by t raised to the power x minus t raised to the power x multiplied by t raised to the power s minus t raised to the power x this is equal to zero now t raised to the power s is common here let's bring it out we have t raised to power x bracket t raised to power 2x minus t raised to power x minus 1 is equal to 0. That is t raised to power x in divided by this. We have t raised to power 2x. Then t raised to power x divided by this. We have t raised to power x and t raised to power x divided by t raised to power x we have minus one there are two cases here t raised to power s is equal to zero or the second case t raised to power 2x minus t raised to power x minus one is equal to zero but from here t raised to power s cannot be equal to zero so this is undefined. Then we work with this. T raised to the power 2x minus t raised to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here, remember this rule that a raised to the power n raised to the power m is equal to a raised to the power n m. This is equal to a raised to the power m raised to the power n. And this become t raised to the power 2 raised to the power s minus t raised to the power s minus 1 is equal to 0. So also, from we have t raised to the power s raised to the power 2 minus t raised to the power s minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here, let t raised to the power s is equal to y. Then we have y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. And our quadratic general formula is giving us y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. From the equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to minus 1. So therefore, let's substitute. We have minus into minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiply by minus 1 
divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So we have minus times minus 1, 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square 1, then minus 4 times 1, that is minus 4, times minus 1, it becomes plus 4 over 2 times 1, 2. y is equal to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. Then y is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or y is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. But remember that t raised to the power s is equal to y. Uh, therefore, t raised to the power s is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Or the second case, t raised to the power s is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. But from here, this is posi positive, and this is negative. So this is rejected, because this is less than 0. So now, the only true solution, or the only real solution we have is this. That is, 3 raised to power s is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. That is the only real solution we have. Let's take the log of both sides. Log 3 raised to the power s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now, this is s log 3 is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now let's divide both sides by log 3. Divided by log 3 divided by log 3. This one will cancel this. S is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by log now remember this, that if you have log A over B is equal to log A minus log B. Then this become S is equal to log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2 over log 3. S is equal to log 3.2361 minus log 2 is what? 0 0.3010 divided by log 3 is 0 0.4771 then s is equal to 0 0.5100 minus 0 0.3010 divided by 0 0.4771 therefore 0 0.5100 minus 0 0.3010 divided by 0 0.4771 is equal to s is equal to 0 0.4381 that is our final answer if you enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you see you in the next video